Hello, saints. Praise the Lord. Well, I was mentioning the other day that I had been looking at various Trinitarian sites, just scanning through them, kind of, and I landed on one by Kelly Powers, and he had a video called How to Effectively Witness to a Oneness Pentecostal. So being a Oneness Pentecostal, I thought, well, let me check it out and see if there's something effective that would teach me that uh, Jesus Christ is not God the Father. Because that's what Kelly was trying to promote there, was that Jesus is God, but he never said that he's God the Father. That's in the end of his video there at the 10-minute mark or so. So I wanted to see if that could be proven. And as I look through the Bible, we can find out very exactly who the Father of Jesus Christ is. So, did Jesus Christ ever claim to be God the Father? And who is God the Father? That's the question. Can we find out who is the Father of Jesus Christ? The Bible talks a lot about him in the New Testament. Uh, many, many times in the Gospels. Many times in the Epistles. And so... Let's see if we can discover who the Father of Jesus Christ is. So in Acts chapter 3, starting in verse 13, the Apostle Peter's preaching there right after Pentecost, right after the church starts. And in his preaching, he says this, The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his son, Jesus. Well, there you go. Peter preached about the father of Jesus Christ. And in his preaching, he says that the God of our fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that he is the God of Jesus Christ. Now, Let's learn some things about this one who is the father of Jesus Christ. Let's go to Exodus chapter 3 in our uh, search here today. And we find Moses and God talking. And we see that Moses said to God, When I come to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. The God of your fathers has sent me to you. So now he's talking about the same God that Peter is preaching about in Acts chapter 3 when he said that the God of our fathers has raised up his son, Jesus. So that's who we're talking about here. We're talking about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, aren't we? And Moses is is meeting him and is talking with him and God is uh, taking a question or two from him and Moses said, well, who shall I say sent me? Who are you? Who is the God of our fathers? And the God of our fathers answers Moses like this. He says, God said to Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt you say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. So the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that being the same God that Peter said was the God of Jesus Christ. In other words, the Father of Jesus Christ. So now we know that the Father of Jesus Christ, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the I am that Moses met, that he, he is the one who is the God of Jesus Christ. He is the one that is the Father of Jesus Christ. So when the verse 15 kicks in. God says to Moses, Thus shalt you say to the children of Israel, 
the Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. Okay, so Moses meets him. He is the father of the children of Israel. And he is the, the father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he's the father of and the God of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we know that he is called the I am. This is what we're being taught. That Jesus has a God. Now we know who he is. In the Old Testament, he was known as I am. Now let's see if we can find out who Jesus is. In John chapter 8. Let's go over there to, let's say, about verse 58. And Jesus says to his opponents there, the Pharisees, he says to them, Verily, verily, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. So we have Jesus saying that he is the I am, right? Now, just a minute ago, we found out that it is the I am that is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The very same one that Peter said was the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so now we know that Jesus has a God. We know who he is. He's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's the God that is called I Am. That's who the father of Jesus is. But who did Jesus say that he was? Jesus said, before Abraham was, I am. Isn't that interesting? You know, because everybody uses, everybody that believes in the deity of Jesus, they use this context of scripture where Jesus said, before Abraham was, I am, we use that to show that Jesus is God. And so the Trinitarians, as in this video that I was watching, How to Effectively Witness to Oneness Pentecostals, we all use the fact that Jesus is the I Am to prove that he is God. But now, in the video, we're told that Jesus is God, but he never claimed to be God the Father. Okay, that's what we're, we're looking at here in this study. I say that anytime Jesus claimed to be God, it's always God the Father. The main reason why is because there's only one God, and that's the Father. So Jesus, if he ever, and I believe that he did, if he ever identifies himself as God, he is identifying himself as God the Father. And so even in this case, Jesus says, before Abraham was, I am. But who is the Father of Jesus Christ? Who is the God of Jesus Christ, according to the Apostle Peter? According to Moses, it is the I am. The I am is the Father of of Jesus Christ. And yet, who did Jesus say that he was? Jesus said that he was the I am. So wait a minute, what what does that mean? Well, if Jesus is the I am, that means that he is the Father. They're telling us that Jesus never claimed to be God the Father, but the I am is the God of Jesus Christ. In other words, he is the father of Jesus Christ. We're talking about the I am now. And according to the apostle Peter, that is the God of Jesus, the I am. Now, how many I am's do you suppose there are? Think about I am. 
I am. Nothing there like a we are, right? It is I am. So that is the father of Jesus. And yet, Jesus said that was him. That he was the I am. So friends, if you use the I am context to prove that Jesus is God, you're going to have to teach and understand that Jesus is God the Father. Because Jesus' Father is I am. So if Jesus is I am, what does that tell you? That ought to tell you that he is the Father. He is God the Father. And so it's not accurate for anyone to say that Jesus never claimed to be God the Father. If he claimed to be God, period, he's claiming to be the Father. It's just that their eyes are not quite uh, open to this wonderful truth yet. We keep trying to present it to them, and uh, once in a while we see somebody uh, grasp hold of this truth, don't we? But friends, now you know what Jesus meant when he said in John 12 and verse 43, Jesus said, He who believes in me believes not in me. Well, who are we believing in, Jesus? He says, but in him who sent me. Oh boy, they love that truth, don't they? That God sent Jesus. And we all love that truth because it's a great truth. Who is the God that sent Jesus? Well, Peter said it's the I am. Who did Jesus say he was? Jesus said that he was the I am, didn't he? And now we know what Jesus meant in John chapter 12 and verse 43 when he said, And he who sees me sees him that sent me. So does Jesus have a God? Yes, Jesus does have a God. Who is it? It's the I am. Who is Jesus? Jesus is the I am. So Jesus is now trying to teach us about his deity. And he brings it down to this. Before Abraham was, I am. In other words, the one that was in heaven, the one that was in heaven before Jesus came to earth, and the one that was actually still in heaven at the same time, as Jesus was on the earth, Jesus was claiming what? He was claiming that was him. He was claiming that he was the I am. Well, did Jesus ever say that he was still in heaven at the same time that he was on the earth? Have you ever read John 3 and verse 13? There was a man named Nicodemus that was talking to Jesus. And Jesus said to Nicodemus, no one has ascended up to heaven except who he, who he who came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. So was Jesus in heaven at the same time he was on the earth? Yes, he was, friends. Jesus said that he was in heaven at the same time that he was on the earth. And so Jesus is the God of the Bible. He's the God of the Bible. He's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He is the I am that I am. But yet that's the father of Jesus, isn't it? According to the apostle Peter and according to Moses, what God told Moses that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is the I am. But yet Jesus says that he is the I am. So now we know why that Isaiah prophesied like this in chapter 9 and verse 6. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called... Wonderful Counselor, 
the mighty God, the everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Who was Isaiah talking about? Uh, he was talking about the I Am. That's who he was talking about. Now, that sounds like a glorious and a marvelous truth, doesn't it? God alone is the one who can make a plan like that, who can make a revelation like that. And yet maybe some still aren't getting the revelation. The revelation is that the Son and the Father are one. That's the revelation. If you want to know who is the Father of Jesus, now you know. It's the I Am. If you want to know who Jesus is, now you know. He is the I Am. He is the I Am. So if Jesus is God at all, then he is God the Father. And that goes right along with what I just quoted in Isaiah 9 and verse 6. That unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Some of us think that that's Jesus. And his name shall be called what? The Wonderful Counselor. That's the Lord of hosts. Isaiah chapter 28, the last verse. The Mighty God. How many gods are there? Well, according to the Bible, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Deuteronomy 6 and verse 4. In the New Testament, was there any other God than that same God that uh, the Old Testament people knew? Why, of course not. And that's why uh, Paul said in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 6, that there is but one God, the Father, who is above all and through all and in you all. So did Jesus ever say that he was God the Father? Well, if Jesus ever said that he was God at all, yes, that's who he was claiming to be. Next.